News Update. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials right now trading up 33. NASDAQ is down 50. S&P is off two. Gold. Gold contract caught the bid, man. We are up by 14.20, 18.28 an ounce. We got silver up 26 cents, 23 dollars 32 cents an ounce. Light sweet crude down a buck 63, 75 dollars 35 cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. The 10-year note down two ticks, trading 130, 10, 30-year. Up five at 160.01 oh, in King Dollar. King Dollar is down 375 ticks, trading 95, 9, 95, 594. Euro is 113. Yen is at 115. And the British pound is at 135 to 1 US dollar. You get a sideways market, folks. You're not going to have any volume. Bottom line is how we're going to finish off the year. Been a good year. No two ways about that. And we'll see where this shakes out. What the S&P is doing, so check this out. This is, this is, this is as good as you get. So, what you have here is this. We're backing down on the S&P, but guess what? That's what you should be doing when you have volume that is so dramatically lighter. So this baby is still saying to me that this thing wants to go to 500, and right now you're at 476.20. And if that's the case, what we're gonna see even inside the NDX 100 is the bottom line. You can see the NDX right now, it's taken out the Wednesday low. You had 32 million shares in the Wednesday low. You got 21 million now. That is pulling back tremendously light of volume. That's telling me that we still have an ABC structure in the way up. That can happen. Gold, gold contract caught a bit out here. And you know, the volume's not bad. We're almost at 100,000 uh, contracts uh, on a holiday. So uh, that is a decent number. We were going over, I think it's 105,000. Let's look at this. 101,000. So it's 96 versus 101, which is not bad. That's saying, I suspect, we come back to work Monday, I suspect you're going to get some real action. And the reason being, meaning in the metals market and the commodities in general. And what that has to do with, that has to do with the aspect of how this dollar is trading. The dollar, folks, is going after the spike low, which is the 95, 517. I expect what you're going to see is this. You just broke the consolidation. Like when you take a look at consolidations, what happens, it's, it's, you know, it's an art, not a science. Uh, bottom line, you can say that the bottom is 849, you broke it, and that would be saying, if that's the case, that this will be going back to where the dollar broke topside from. And if that's the case, you can expect a fast run topside inside the metals markets as we come back to work in 2022. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. <laughs>